Hey, what's up, guys? Joel Benavides, Block Squawk Podcast here. It is the 1st of March, uh, and it's 1044 p.m. here in San Antonio Central Standard Time. Uh, 444 uh, on the universal clock, and uh, we're going to take a quick look at market capitalization and brief look at uh, some of the headlines and uh, and uh, how the chart has progressed since yesterday. Uh, and, uh, and then we're going to be done. So, uh, um, I'm thinking this is going to be a preliminary round. I'm, I may come back here in about an hour and, uh, and redo it. But depending on how, um, this squawk works out, I might just use this one. Um, whatever. Well, I mean, we'll see how it goes. So, uh, I hope you guys had a great day. I'm winding down myself and I decided I don't want to let today slip by without doing a squawk. Uh, just since I took so much time off at the beginning of the year. So uh, let's uh, get to the watch list. Uh, I'm pulling this data off of um, Apogee Crypto, but it pulls it from CoinMarketCap. So you're welcome to follow along with me on CoinMarketCap.com if you want. Um, I just, uh, as I always mention, I, I like using Apogee Crypto just because of the format. It's a little bit easier in the way that I read it. Uh, so without further ado, let's rip through some of these, um, choice coins and, uh, actually I'm going to kind of skip around, um, from, from 100 to, to, to 21, uh, and then I'm going to blast through, uh, the top 20 just because I, I don't want to waste a lot of time on some of these other coins that are probably not going to amount to much. Sorry for the cynicism. This way it is. So uh, let's get started. Coming in 100th by market cap is GASP, G-A-S. Uh, that's trading at three and seven. That's $3.07. It's up 42.28% on the day and 51.58% on the week. 24 hour traded volume on gas guys was 42.7 million. Uh, let's uh, jump on up to Augur, R-E-P. In at 38th by market cap, trading at 12 and 75. That's down 0.7 points on the day and down eight points even on the week. 24 hour traded volume was 2.2 million. Lisk LSK in at 37, trading at 1 and 23, up 0.4% on the day, down 4.16% of the week. 24 hour traded volume was 2.9 million, almost, almost 3 million. Now, Quantum QTUM in at 30th, trading at 2 and 11, down 2.75 points on the day, down 4.76 points on the week. 24 hour trade volume was 171.6 million. Uh, Doge in at 25th, trading at 0.1 cents. That's up 0.11 points on the day, down 2.86 points on the week. 24 hour trade volume was 17.2 million. Uh, ontology ONT in at 21st by market cap, trading at 91 and a half cents, up 0.91 points on the day, up 3.67 points on the week, and 24 trade volume was 32.4 million. Let's get into the top 20 now, guys. I'm going to rip through these and then we'll um, go on with the rest of the podcast or stream and, uh, and, and be done. Uh, so, coming in at 20th by market cap, Zcash, ZEC in it. Uh, 20th, as I said before, 52 and 13 is the traded price. That's up 0.3 points on the day, down 3.62 points on the week. 24-hour traded volume, 158.1 mil. Nam XEM in at 19th, trading at 4.3 cents, up 0.44 points on the day, down 3.3 points on the week. 24-hour traded volume, 14 mil. Ethereum Classic ETC in at 18th, trading at 4 and 31, up 0.7 points on the week, uh, down 0.8 points even for the week. Sorry, and the let me redo that one. So uh, ETC guys was up 0.7 points for the day and down 8 points for the week. Uh, 24 hour traded volume again was 162.4 mil. Neo uh, by the same symbol in it, 17th, trading at 8 and 99. 8 and 99, that's near, nearly 9 uh, dollars uh, for the traded price. That's up 0.92 points on the day, up 2.3 points on the week. 24 hour traded volume, 256.6 mil. Uh, make or jump over that one. Dash by the same symbol in at 15th, trading at 83 and 31, down 0 0.93 points on the day, down 3.56 points on the week. 24-hour trade of volume, 210.5 million. Iota by the symbol Myota in a 14th, trading at 29.4 cents, up 2.19 points on the day, uh, down 2.85 points on the week. 24-hour trade of volume was 9.2 mil. 
Uh, Monero XMR in at 13th by market cap, trading at 49 and 61, up 0.78 points on the day, down 5.27 points on the week. 24-hour trade volume was 66.5 mil. Cardano ADA in at 12th, trading at 4.3 cents. That's down 0.1 points on the day, down 6.35 points on the week. 24-hour trade volume was 13.6 mil. Bitcoin SV BSV in at 11th by market cap, trading at 67 and 23. That's up half a point. Correction, new numbers now. It just got updated, guys. So uh, BSV. SV was up 0.21 points in the last 24 hours and up 2.11 points for the week. 24 hour trade of volume on BSV was 76.5 mil. Moving to the top 10 now, guys. Tron TRX in at 10th, trading at 2.3 cents, down 3.52 points on the day, down 8.17 points on the week. 24 hour trade of volume 140.8 mil. Binance Coin BNB in at 9th, trading at 11 and 44. That's up 5.19 points on the day, up 6.92 points on the week. 24 hour trade of volume 111.5 mil. Stellar XLM in at 8th, trading at 8.5 cents, down 0.16 points on the day, down 6.08 points on the week. 24 hour trade of volume 113.4 mil. Tether USDT and at 7 trading at 101 up 0.14 for the day. Uh, 24 hour trade of volume for Tether guys was at 6.7 billion. Uh, Bitcoin Cash BCH in at 6 trading at 132 and 53. That's up 0.03% on the day, down 7.78 points on the week. 24 hour trade of volume 234.6 mil. Litecoin LTC in at 5th trading at 47 and 78. That's up 2.93 points on the day, down 3.13 points on the week. 24 hour trade of volume was 1.1 bill. Uh, sorry, 1.1 billion. EOS by the same symbol in a fourth, trading at three and 53, down 0.64 percent on the week. Correction on the day, uh, down 8.64 points on the week. 24-hour trade volume was 1.3 billion. XRP by the same symbol in a third, trading at 31.6 cents. That's up 0.06 percentage points for the day. Uh, and down 1.06 percentage points for the week. 24-hour trade volume was 738.8 million. Ethereum uh, ETH in its second by market cap, trading at 135 and 90. That's down 1.15 points on the day, down 8.27 points for the week. 24-hour trade volume was 3.7 billion. Uh, Bitcoin, of course, BTC in at first by market cap, trading at 3,857. That's up about 57 bucks where I left you guys yesterday. Uh, down 0.06 percentage points for the day, last 24 hours, and down 3.24% for the week. 24 hour trade of volume was 7.6 billion. Um, to be exact, 7,618,912,950 in the last 24 hours. Uh, market cap right now, Bitcoin rests at 67.7 billion. Uh, and um, the seven day spark chart looks flat last few days. Uh, we're going to get into that here in a minute. As for the uh, percentage points changes, uh, last 24 hours has seen marginal changes. That's because we've been ranging. Uh, we're going to take a look at that over here in a minute. And uh, and so really the big move came, what was it, like a week ago, five days ago, and we, we did that big drop. So um, that's going to do it for coin market cap data. Uh, I don't really have any cute anecdotes for you today. I was feeling kind of snarky yesterday, so I was kind of all over the place. Uh, taking a look at the crypto scanner on TradingView, uh, RBT on the Bitfinex exchange uh, is showing um, an 11.2% uh, change, and uh, Bitcoin USD on CoinFloor uh, showed a 67.97% um jump i don't know if that's because that's a new listing or a new exchange or something like that if that i'm not familiar with coin floor to be honest with you and i usually have my filters up but i guess i don't have it on right now as a matter of fact let's let's um let's adjust that and let's throw let's get rid of any and let's throw binance in here bitfinex i know some of you guys like bitfinex i don't like that uh bitmex isn't on here uh, Bitstamp, why not for you? For you, Euro Dogs, Bittrex. I know some of y'all do Bittrex. Coinbase, of course. Uh, I'm not gonna do Gemini uh, and Poloniex. So let's go with that for now. So yeah, uh, as far as last 24 hours, the biggest changes were coming uh, from Bitfinex. Uh, that was uh, CSX against Ethereum, 283.6% change. Uh, 
change there. Uh, but as for like our old familiars, a lot of a lot of a lot of trading listed here on Bitfinex. Uh, I'm not seeing a, I'm not finding my my, my Coinbase shit here. Uh, this is really kind of cumbersome right now. Well, I'll, I'll develop a better system so that we can go over uh, crypto screener on trading view because if you haven't used crypto screen our trading view it's like really helpful if if for, for nothing else just to get kind of like situational awareness on the market um i'm not sure you would you would trade it uh exclusively but uh it is a, a decent place to get a little bit of information so let's scoot that on aside and take a look at the chart here uh spread looks to be about 50 cents right now and we're looking at xbt on on bitmex guys over the last uh last few days uh and then this is the hourly chart uh as we discussed yesterday uh we had that big move on the 23rd of february and then that was um the last flagpole in a series of of bull flags that we had had um since the beginning of february uh, but that was it this was the, like i want to say the third or the fourth flagpole we consolidated and uh probably semi predictably um you know because you can't have bull flags you know just infinitely one after the other in a bear market and so we ended up with this uh this huge falling knife on the 24th of february at uh, 1400 utc so at, at which point we began ranging guys uh and so uh initially i was looking for some kind of move right here when i drew this uh descending triangle uh descending wedge and uh and, and and we did get a drop off it wasn't as significant as it could have been um but it looks like we popped right back up somebody wanted us ranging in here so here we are we're ranging we're ranging right here let me get you the exact levels guys let's jump down into like the five minute chart so that we can really look at what's going on here um so yeah, we're ranging kind of right here in between this 30, 3,800 to 3,850 approximately. So those 50 bucks. And uh, it looks like we're at the bottom right now. We just did a big drop over it. When I first started the podcast, I was noticing that we're at 3,800 um, or 3,850, I should say. Uh, or maybe I was looking at another exchange or something, but uh last uh 15 minutes here or so guys we took a like a good 15 20 dollar uh drop looks like we've recovered some in the last 10 minutes uh but that's it uh, that's what's going on uh there was some volatility um earlier uh but it's kind of a kind of a quiet day on the front guys so uh, let's take a quick look at headlines before I get out of here. Um, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Ripple, February month end analysis. Let's see, that's going to be from who's doing that? FX Street. Okay, all right. FX Street is pretty cool. Um, one of the traders that I follow uh, writes articles for FX Street. It's going to be uh, Scott Barkley from Proact Traders. Um, they're at uh, proacttraders.com, I believe, if I'm, I'm not mistaken. And, uh, and they're always posting like Forex uh, trading ideas on, on Twitter. But if you get a chance, and I may have mentioned this before, uh, but I listen to uh, Two Blokes Trading, which is a, a podcast on iOS. I'm pretty sure it's got to be on Google. Uh, but, but he comes out. I want to say this was like a couple of months ago. Scott Barkley had come out on Two Blokes Trading um and uh and i mean he just had like a brilliant delivery he seems like he'd be like a really excellent teacher like able to communicate like uh complex ideas with enough detail to where you get a good picture of what's going on without overwhelming he's just like a natural teacher and so if you get a a chance to to look up scott barkley and two blokes trading go and and listen to that because um, he gives like just like a really excellent idea of like how to trade bull flags and, and bear flags and and the 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 main continuation patterns and reversal patterns. Uh, just a, an excellent, excellent podcast. I can't recommend that enough. Um, 
so uh, so yeah and that was anyway that was a big um, um, side side move from from that story but that was from F FX Street where Scott Barkley's at let's see sludge feed ripple moves 1 billion XRP and leaves mystery memo oh that sounds interesting but I'm not gonna look into it right now also from FX Street a lot of stuff from FX Street right here let me see crypto globe uh, released an article titled why cryptocurrencies might be too technical for mainstream Facebook and telegram users um, you know that's that's true but you got to think about th think back to what happened during the internet right so like back when the internet was new like the only people using it were like nerds and geeks and uh, and they were all about it but you know most people just didn't have time to learn how to use a computer or you know for those of you born you know before 1990 you know the internet used to be a complicated place but uh, I have a feeling that you know as time goes on it's not gonna be right away it might take 10 20 years but we'll get there uh, and eventually everybody will be utilizing blockchains and cryptocurrencies for probably everything voting ordering groceries So, uh, so that's it. Let's see, Bitcoinist. No, Facebook's Facecoin will be nothing like Bitcoin or even a cryptocurrency. So it looks like they're probably going to be utilizing the block some blockchain aspects of the technology, but it probably won't be a cryptocurrency. Um, yeah, because of all the different applications that you can do with with blockchain. A lot of stuff from FX Street. I'm not complaining. Uh, it's just. Uh, Hadn't seen that in the last couple of days. New York Times is wrong about Bitcoin and Facebook. That's from Bain Crypto. Cointelegraph report. Quadra CX wallets. We just saw a QCX on, on the screener. Have been empty, unused since April. Doesn't seem like there's anything too crazy. Uh, time now, guys, is uh, uh, one one minute past 11 p.m. or uh, 501 UTC, and uh, Bitcoin XBT is at 37.98. So we jumped back up uh, from that little dip that we had a few minutes ago. Um, you know, small price volatility, but at least it's not like totally flat. When you look at it on the hourly chart, though, it's kind of flat. It just it depends on how you're trading it. If you're uh, waiting for those big moves, you're gonna be waiting. And uh, and I, I I broadcast and post this yesterday, guys. Uh, but when you kind of pull out and look at the daily chart, you can see those uh, those bull flags that were occurring during the beginning of of February. And there they are. So uh, the volume seems to maybe be waning last couple of days. And that's going to do it for us. Uh, I don't have anything else today. Uh, I got work tomorrow, so I need to jump jump in bed. Um, I don't think I'm going to come back later on tonight. I was thinking that at the beginning of the stream that I would, but uh, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to leave uh, the chart up here on the one minute. And, uh, and we'll see how things go by morning. Uh, any questions, comments, concerns, you can reach out to me on uh, on Twitter. I'm at Joel Benavides, at Joel Benavides is right there. And uh, and that's really the best way to get a hold of me. Otherwise, uh, the, the Squawk, Block Squawk is listener supported. So you can head on over to anchor.fm forward slash Block Squawk and, uh, and click on the support this podcast button. And that'll help immensely in the... Um, maintenance longevity and improvement of block squawk um it's not really like an interview thing i just if you're tuning in for the first time you know the the whole i, I was all i've always been fascinated with the marriage of, of like live streaming and crypto uh and there's a couple of channels out there that um are pretty pretty popular and i would i would point you probably more 
to, to crypto traders TV, CCTV. Um, but, uh, but it's just something that, uh, that I wanted to do so that I could document my own journey through this. Um, maybe one of these days I'll, I'll, I'll throw up some of my notes from some of the, some of the courses that I've taken. Um, and, uh, and maybe we can discuss like risk reward soon. I'm still kind of ironing that out for myself. Uh, but, but maybe we can start expanding on that a little bit. So, um, but I usually don't do interviews. But however, that being said, you know, if, uh, if you ever want to come on and shoot the shit with me, um, or if you're a podcaster yourself, I would, uh, I wouldn't mind having somebody on as long as I could talk to you ahead of time. So just hit me up. Like I said, on, on Twitter, um, that's it. Uh, I'm going to be on my way out. Uh, and uh, you guys have a good day. Good, good, good uh, luck trading. Don't forget uh, volatility um, and sell-offs usually occur, statistically occur on uh, Friday nights and uh, buybacks Saturday morning. So, um, so that may be a, a, a little bit of what we're seeing right here, right now. Uh, maybe uh, we continue to see some sell-side volume over the next couple of hours with uh, with buybacks going on in the morning. So we'll see how that goes, um, but just keep that in mind. Um, and uh, and I'm gonna get out of here, guys. Uh, so you guys have a good, good night, good luck trading, and we'll see you soon. Cheers.